Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to explore world's most ambitious infrastructure projects that didn't quite go as planned. From towering TV towers to massive railroads and futuristic cities, these ventures started with great promise but ended up as colossal failures. Join us as we count down the major infrastructure projects that failed, delving into the stories behind their downfalls. Let's get started. Number 1. Chinese Ghost Cities Throughout the early to mid-2010s, China made headlines with its numerous ghost cities, large-scale urban developments that remained almost entirely uninhabited. These state-sponsored projects were part of China's aggressive urbanization strategy, aimed at accommodating rapid population growth and driving economic development. Billions of dollars were invested in constructing modern cities complete with residential complexes, commercial centers, and infrastructure. The goal was to preemptively create urban spaces that could absorb future population growth and stimulate local economies. However, many of these developments struggled to attract residents, leading to vast, empty streets and unoccupied buildings. Factors contributing to the low occupancy included poor location choices, lack of economic opportunities, and insufficient public services. Some of these cities were built in remote areas with little appeal to potential residents, while others lacked essential amenities such as schools, hospitals, and public transportation. While some of these cities have since seen population growth, others remain underutilized, representing significant financial losses. The phenomenon highlights the challenges of balancing rapid development with sustainable urban planning. The economic risks of overbuilding are evident in the empty high-rises and deserted shopping malls that the landscape. Local governments and developers face the challenge of repurposing these areas to avoid further economic strain. Efforts to revitalize these ghost cities have included policies to attract businesses, improve infrastructure, and enhance public services. Some cities have successfully transitioned into thriving urban centers by focusing on niche industries or tourism. However, many still struggle with low occupancy rates and financial instability. The ghost cities of China serve as a stark reminder of the complexities and risks involved in large-scale urban planning and development. Number 2. Trump International Hotel and Tower Donald Trump's real estate ventures have seen varying degrees of success, and one of his most notable failures was the Trump International Hotel and Tower in Baku, Azerbaijan. Initially planned as an upscale apartment complex, Trump entered the project in 2012 with the vision of converting it into a luxury hotel and condominium property. The building, located in a strategic area, was poised to become a landmark in Baku's skyline. The architectural design was ambitious, featuring modern amenities and luxurious finishes aimed at attracting affluent residents and visitors. However, the project's association with the Mamadov family, known for their involvement in crime and corruption, sparked significant controversy. The Mamadov's reputation raised serious concerns about the project's legitimacy and ethical implications. As Trump's presidential campaign gained momentum in 2016, he decided to sever ties with the project to avoid further scrutiny. The decision was also influenced by mounting political pressure and potential conflicts of interest. The building remains unfinished, a symbol of failed ambitions and the complications that arise from controversial partnerships. The unfinished tower has since become a stark reminder of the risks involved in international real estate ventures. Despite several attempts to find new investors or repurpose the building, it remains in a state of limbo. Local authorities and business leaders have debated various proposals, from converting it into office space to using it as a cultural center. However, the high costs of completion and ongoing legal issues have stalled any progress. The Trump International Hotel and Tower in Baku stands as a cautionary tale of the pitfalls of high-profile investments and the challenges of navigating complex international markets. Number 3. Foreshore Freeway Bridge Also known as Cape Town's Unfinished Bridge, the Foreshore Freeway Bridge was conceived in the early 1970s as part of the Eastern Boulevard Highway Project. The goal was to alleviate traffic congestion in Cape Town by creating a new transportation corridor. The project was envisioned as a crucial infrastructure improvement that would connect various parts of the city and enhance mobility for residents and visitors. Construction began with high expectations. Engineers and construction crews worked diligently, erecting the initial segments of the bridge. However, 
By 1977, the project was abruptly halted. While no official reason was provided, speculation ranged from funding shortages to engineering miscalculations. Some urban legends even suggested that a disgruntled shop owner refused to sell his property, blocking the bridge's completion. Regardless of the reasons, the project came to a standstill. The incomplete bridge segment has since become an iconic yet puzzling landmark. Over the years, it has served various purposes, including as a parking space, a homeless encampment, and a backdrop for TV shows and fashion shoots. Despite numerous proposals and design contests aimed at completing or repurposing the bridge, it remains unfinished. Several initiatives were launched to find a practical use for the structure, but all fell through due to bureaucratic inertia and lack of funding. In 2014, the University of Cape Town held a design contest to gather innovative ideas for utilizing the bridge. The contest generated a variety of creative proposals, from public parks to cultural spaces. However, none of these ideas were implemented. In February 2018, a contractor was chosen to complete the unfinished highway, but allegations of tender irregularities halted the project once again. The foreshore. Number 4. Bangkok Elevated Road and Train System, BRTS The Bangkok Elevated Road and Train System, BRTS, was a highly anticipated project aimed at alleviating traffic congestion and improving transportation infrastructure in Thailand's capital. Approved in November 1990 with a budget of $3.2 billion, the project intended to connect central Bangkok to Don Muing International Airport with an elevated highway and rail line. Subsequent phases planned for extensive expansions, totaling 60 kilometers of new infrastructure. However, from the outset, the project was plagued by issues. Rumors of corruption surfaced early on, and a combination of changing political administrations and the Asian financial crisis of the late 1990s caused severe delays. By 1997, with only 10% of the project completed, construction was halted. In 1998, the project was officially terminated. The most visible remnants of BRTS are the hundreds of concrete pillars that were erected to support the planned structures. These pillars, often referred to as Bangkok's version of Stonehenge, serve as a stark reminder of the project's failure. The legal battles that ensued between the Thai government and Hopewell Holdings, the company behind the project, further complicated matters. Despite multiple court rulings and appeals, the project's liquidation and resolution remain ongoing, underscoring the long-term impacts of failed infrastructure ventures. Number 5. Cape to Cairo Railroad During the age of imperialism, the British Empire embarked on one of its most ambitious projects, the Cape to Cairo Railroad. This grand vision aimed to connect British-controlled territories from Egypt in the north to South Africa in the south via a continuous railway line. It symbolized British dominance and intended to facilitate the movement of goods, resources, and military personnel across the continent. Despite acquiring the necessary colonies, including German East Africa, now Tanzania, during World War I, the railroad faced significant challenges. Economic feasibility was a major concern, as construction costs far outweighed potential profits. The Great Depression in the 1930s further stalled progress, and after World War II, the decolonization movement led newly independent states to prioritize national infrastructure over colonial air projects. The Cape to Cairo Railroad remains a historical what if, reflecting the limitations and changing priorities of imperial ambitions. It serves as a testament to the complexities of implementing grandiose visions in the face of economic and political realities. Number 6. Ekaterinburg TV Tower. In 1983, Construction began on a TV tower meant to service the Russian city of Ekaterinburg. It was set to reach a height of about 360 meters. Yet, after the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991, the 220-meter-tall tower was simply abandoned. Over time, the building began to decay, was covered in graffiti, and used illegally by urban explorers and base jumpers. However, the tower was eventually sealed off to the public and, in 2018, it was demolished as part of a beautification program in preparation for the 2018 World Cup. Number 7. The Line While most cities are made up of multiple buildings that add a level of character and personality to the area, the line throws those conventions out the window. That's because, as the name suggests, the line is a line. 
It's made up of two parallel skyscrapers, and the entire city will be contained within a structure that's 200 meters wide, 500 meters tall, and 170 kilometers long. It would stretch across an area of land in the northwest part of Saudi Arabia near the Red Sea. It's set to hold a total of 9 million people. Virtual mock-ups make it look like some sort of futuristic sci-fi city, and if the current plans are realized, it will feature vertically layered homes, offices, public parks, and public schools, year-round climate control of all indoor and outdoor spaces, and a high-speed rail that will transport residents from end to end in just 20 minutes. Despite all these incredible features, the city will reportedly have no cars, streets, or carbon emissions. This was built as part of a plan known as Vision 2030, which aims to draw in 100 million visitors annually. Work on the project began in October 2021, and the city is set to be completed by 2030. Yet the reality is that creating a city like this from scratch is a huge project, a $1.5 trillion one, according to the Saudis. Another reality is that the viability of this project sounded sketchy from the start, and now the folds are beginning to unravel. According to reports, Prince Mohammed's changing vision for the project, budget overspent, and an ever-changing roster of key staff have caused many who once worked on the project to describe it as untethered from reality. With falling cash reserves, Saudi Arabia has been forced to scale back the project. According to a report by Bloomberg, the planned population of the city has dropped from 1.5 million to a mere 300,000, and instead of finishing 170 kilometers by 2030, this has since been revised to just 2.5 kilometers. Unless Saudi Arabia gets its act together, there's a fair chance that the line will be a sad excuse for what it was advertised to be. Thank you for joining us on this journey through monumental failures and the insights they provide. If you enjoyed this exploration, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating stories. Until next time, keep questioning and exploring.